The Little Prince. And now here is my secret, a very simple secret. It is only with the heart that one can see rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eye. All grown-ups were once children, but only few of them remember it. It is the time you have wasted for your rose that makes your rose so important. What makes the desert beautiful, said the little prince, is that somewhere it hides a well. The most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or touched. They are felt with the heart. I am looking for friends. What does that mean tame? It is an act to often neglected, said the fox. It means to establish ties. To establish ties? Just that, said the fox. To me, you are still nothing more than a little boy who is just like a hundred thousand other little boys, and I have no need of you, and you, on your part, have no need of me. To you I am nothing more than a fox like a hundred thousand other foxes. But if you tame me, then we shall need each other. To me, you will be unique in all the world. To you, I shall be unique in all the world. If you tame me, it will be as if the sun came to shine on my life. I shall know the sound of a step that will be different from all the others. Yours will call me, like music, out of my burrow. And then look you see the grain fields down yonder. Wheat is of no use to me. The wheat fields have nothing to say to me. But you have hair that is the color of gold. Think how wonderful that will be when you have tamed me. The grain, which is also golden, will bring me back the thought of you. What must I do, to tame you? asked the little prince. You must be very patient, replied the fox. First you will sit down at a little distance from me. I shall look at you out of the corner of my eye, and you will say nothing. Words are the source of misunderstandings. But you will sit a little closer to me every day. People have forgotten this truth the fox said, but you mustn't forget it. You become responsible forever for what you've tamed. You're responsible for your rose. Grown-ups never understand anything by themselves, and it is tiresome for children to be always and forever explaining things to them. You alone will have the stars as no one else has them. In one of the stars I shall be living, in one of them I shall be laughing, and so it will be as if all the stars were laughing. When you look at the sky at night, only you will have stars that can laugh. It is such a mysterious place, the land of tears. Well, I must endure the presence of a few caterpillars if I wish to become acquainted with the butterflies. You're beautiful, but you're empty. One couldn't die for you. Of course, an ordinary passerby would think my rose looked just like you. But my rose, all on her own, is more important than all of you together, since she's the one I've watered. Since she's the one I put under glass. Since she's the one I sheltered behind the screen. Since she's the one for whom I killed the caterpillars. Since she's the one I listened to when she complained. Or when she boasted, or even sometimes when she said nothing at all. Since she's my rose. You see, one loves the sunset when one is so sad. People where you live, the little prince said, grow 5,000 roses in one garden, yet they don't find what they're looking for. They don't find it, I answered. And yet what they're looking for could be found in a single rose or a little water. 
Of course, I answered. And the little prince added. But eyes are blind. You have to look with the heart. You become responsible, forever, for what you have tamed. Where are the people? Resumed the little prince at last. It's a little lonely in the desert. It is lonely when you're among people, too, said the snake. If you love a flower that lives on a star, it is sweet to look at the sky at night. All the stars are a bloom with flowers. All men have stars, but they are not the same things for different people. For some, who are travelers, the stars are guides. For others, they are no more than little lights in the sky. For others, who are scholars, they are problems. But all these stars are silent. You alone will have stars as no one else has them. In one of the stars I shall be living. In one of them I shall be laughing. And so it will be as if all the stars will be laughing when you look at the sky at night. You, only you, will have stars that can laugh. And when your sorrow is comforted, you will be content that you have known me. You will always be my friend. You will want to laugh with me. And you will sometimes open your window. So, for that pleasure, it will be as if, in place of the stars, I had given you a great number of little bells that knew how to laugh. So the little prince tamed the fox. And when the hour of his departure drew near, Ah, said the fox, I shall cry. It is your own fault, said the little prince. I never wished you any sort of harm, but you wanted me to tame you. Yes, that is so, said the fox. But now you are going to cry, said the little prince. Yes, that is so, said the fox. Then it has done you no good at all. It has done me good, said the fox, because of the color of the wheat fields. And then he added, go and look again at the roses. You will understand now that yours is unique in all the world. When someone blushes, doesn't that mean wine? Yes. Of course, I love you, the flower said to him. If you were not aware of it, it was my fault. One day, you said to me, I saw the sunset 44 times. And a little later you added, You know one loves the sunset, when one is so sad. Were you so sad, then? I asked, on the day of the 44 sunsets. But the little prince made no reply. I have always loved the desert. One sits down on a desert sand dune, sees nothing, hears nothing. Yet through the silence something throbs and gleams.